What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about some of the crypto news along with um, some interesting stuff coming out of uh, Bitcoin obviously with the futures contracts ending today. Um, before I get into that, as always, I did the spreadsheet. These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on my channel that I thought would absolutely smash it in this pool cycle. I'd invested 100 bucks to each one when I released the videos and you're still holding those bags, you've been profit for 65,700. Add in the 2600 that you invested, you'd be sitting on 68,300. It's not shabby. Um, I've held them all and I've closed positions on them all and I've reinvested it into new cryptos. If you want to see what I'm in, you can check out a copy of my crypto. It's where I share my live portfolio. One that keeps outperforming the market. One that um, my biggest holdings are prone for crazy gains. And I keep, keep, keep banging on about this. Bank your profits along the way, guys. This is a bull cycle, yes, but the bear cycle will come. The bear cycle is brutal, the bear cycle is fast, and then the bear cycle is extended, and it lasts for a couple of years, and people get in the market while it's hot, enjoy it, and then get scared by the bear cycle and don't come back until it's in bull cycle mode again. Bear cycles are the opportunity of a lifetime, that's where you want to be investing, it's where you want to be dollar cost averaging in across month, a week on week on week on week, finding those gems that are undervalued. I found Phantom during the bear cycle was 400 times up from when I found it right now. And you can, and all I do during bear cycles, to be fair, is just dive into every coin and find the coins that are hugely undervalued, given the proposition that they offer. What I'll be doing throughout the bear cycle is sharing with everyone on Copy My Crypto the key coins that I think I've got significant room to run in this bull cycle, or in the next bull cycle. So if you want to be a part of it, you can check it out. Right, guys. Um, Bitcoin futures ends today, so let's get actually that Bitcoin article up. So here we go. Um, 1.1 billion dollars worth of options are expiring today. Um, so right now, the way it will play out is almost certainly this. Um, well, that's the yeah. So basically, the net result, if uh, Bitcoin is between 58 and 60 thousand dollars, is a 220 million dollars profit for. The bears, the put options, as it were. Um, and it looks like it will stay below, at this point, 58. Um, so, yeah, that's the way it's playing out. Now, the market, I, I what I would expect is this is going to be one of the last shakers. Look, and it, the, you do have to remember, we see these every month. We see all the futures stuff. And these the options expiries every month so you've got to bear that in mind because it does of course have an impact on the market and we could see this again there's no doubt about it but i think this is the bigger this is probably going to be the biggest sort of shake and sell off as it were and how long it takes the market to recover is going to be a matter of days either it will start recovering throughout saturday or we'll start seeing the recovery on monday when the markets will reopen but this is the way it seems to be playing out uh, in terms of the cryptos that are uh, actually killing it during this sort of correction. As you can see, we're looking at metaverse based uh, coins that have done pretty bloody well um, or crypto or gaming based coins that have done very, very well. Um, beyond that, mostly red, uh, red day, but we'll see. I don't think there's going to be any dramatic downturn. There's talk of, I've, I've seen a few people talking about Bitcoin dropping below a billion dollars. Don't see that happening. So based on uh, a billion, so sorry, a trillion dollars. So, if Bit, so there's your trillion dollars. If Bitcoin, if we divide that by the to total circulating supply, Bitcoin would have to drop to a price of below $52,972.95 for this to dip below a trillion dollar market cap can't see another 3,800 or so being lost I just don't see that happening um could potentially retrace down to 4 54 but much lower I don't I think it's unlikely um and this will be the last big shakeout for the weaker hands and then the market will recover in other news though there's been a lot of stuff. So uh, in the UK, there are a number 
are firms that are looking at Bitcoin cashback offered to millions through a crypto loyalty scheme. So fintech firm Mode says it's going to bring Bitcoin into the hands of millions of customers across the UK. So does, <clears throat> dozens of leading UK retailers are reportedly planning to offer customers cashback in Bitcoin from next year through a new loyalty scheme. Bitcoin cashback option will be powered by fintech firm Mode. And it will allow customers to earn crypto rewards of up to 10% for online shopping at the partner stores. This is a phenomenal opportunity for people. This is something that you want to, particularly in the UK, you want to pay attention to. Because in that time, we'll be in a bear cycle. So you'll be getting a lot more Bitcoin than you realize, particularly when we hit the next cycle. It could be some decent profit. If you just sit and hold your bags of Bitcoin constantly, every, every online shop you do, you make sure you shop through a store where you're going to get those cashback options. You could end up... Banking a tidy little profit by the next bull cycle. It's a nice, op and I think it's Homebase, Ocado, and others are going to be doing that. Which are fairly big stores in the UK for, um, for my UK citizens that are watching. Um, in other UK based news, sorry, Americans, but <laughs> it seems UK heavy at the moment, and it is actually. Um, Premier League clubs, so the most well, the best football league and the biggest football league in the world um, are looking to partner with crypto. So no, no matter what size of the club, the football finances football have been ravaged in the past couple of years. Um, and we're starting to see a lot of, um, of Premier League teams um, striking up deals with particular coins. Watford... <laughs> agreed a sleeve sponsorship deal with Dogecoin, a deal which is believed to be worth 700,000, um, which is pretty big. Clubs, obviously, like Barcelona, PSG, Juventus, Man City have got their own crypto tokens along with Arsenal. I've spoken about that in the past. That's all through uh, Chili's, through their socio... I can never remember what it's called. Soci social, Socialo platform. can't remember what it's called. Um... Obviously, Paul Pogba has now dipped his toes into NFTs. He's talking about Father of Dragons is here. He's announced a partnership with Crypto Dragons. Uh, can't wait. To, and you know, obviously, he's got he's getting paid pretty well for that. Um, but we are seeing a number of these that are starting to partner with crypto with uh, football teams. Again, in the UK, some of those football teams are some of the biggest in the world. Got Man U, Man City, two of the biggest. Chelsea, huge following. Arsenal, surprisingly huge following. Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot. Spurs, Liverpool, Liverpool, how do I forget Liverpool? Um, and we are seeing that there are a number of these teams that are starting to partner with cryptocurrencies. Don't be surprised if you would see something like crypto.com. You know, they continue to make massive moves. We saw with Matt Damon, we saw with them rebuying the Staples Center, uh, buying the naming rights to the Staples Center. They are going balls to the wall in terms of trying to get seen. I wouldn't be surprised if we see them, you know, them sponsor the Premier League or them sponsor some of the biggest teams in the Premier League. Um, and that will obviously bring good uh, eyes to the crypto world. So keep your eye on that. And the final bit of news. Crypto trains is putting pressure on um, on balls to open all hours. So longer hours are unlikely to be welcomed by professional traders who say the existing regime is already punishing. Uh, anyone that's seen Wolf of Wall Street probably understands what they mean by that. Um, but obviously now that Bitcoin and other cryptos have now entered into the wider populace, um, and they, they're like tradable uh, 24 out of 7. It's getting to a point where now they're wanting this to be a service that effectively is offered by not only um, traders, but wealth managers are getting a lot of pressure on entering into the crypto space. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how that goes with wealth managers who are renowned for being fairly reserved and conservative in terms of how they invest um but if your wealth manager starts telling you to buy a ton of ethereum or a ton of bitcoin right now 
would not be listening. You do not want to be buying near the top of the market. But if they tell you in a year when everything's on its ass to start buying up, then guess what? They're right. Um, but even Bank of America has acknowledged that cryptos are too big to ignore. Um, they just are. So it's going to be very interesting. But at the beginning of October, the Muda based crypto and cur cryptocurrency trading platform, uh, 24 exchange filed an, ex an application with the, uh, SEC for a license to run a national securities exchange in a bid to become the first platform where stocks can be traded 365 days a week. Um, and, and to be fair, the CEO said once cryptocurrency trading be, uh, became mainstream, people became very accustomed to its unlimited availability. So I believe they'll be, they will expect such 24 seven trading available for other, di for other assets. Um, that's from Dmitry Galinov. Um, so customers are already asking, why can I trade Bitcoin, but not Tesla after market hours or on a weekend? Um, and you said once people become accustomed to its unlimited availability, I believe um, they will expect such for the other assets. And I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Um, it will be interesting to see if that happens. Though. I can't imagine we would see that. The question is, is how much does the demand increase in institutional space? You can't. At the moment, you know institutions are buying up Bitcoin and Ethereum. They've been sort of speaking about it for a while. They've certainly been doing all their research. The question is, really, how long does it take before it gets to the bigger banks or the biggest banks, as it were? You know, if we start seeing Bank of America, Bank of England, uh, the Fed even, potentially buying up bit, tons of Bitcoin and hedging against the national currencies or buying tons of Bitcoin in reserve to strengthen the, their bank's position, it has a big impact on the market and it will have a big impact on the market. So it's an interesting time because we're still early. Remember, only about 5% of the world trade crypto. So you're still really early. Um, but yeah, that's it. I know it's mostly UK. Well, mostly UK news. But yeah. Um, I really do. I really got a feeling we're going to see Crypto.com sponsoring uh, Premier League soon. Really got a feeling. Um, anyway, that's it for me. I hope you're all keeping well. If you're new to crypto, you can check out Copy My Crypto. It's where I share my portfolio. One that keeps outperforming the market. One that keeps making gains. And fundamentally, guys... Um, the biggest thing during this bear bull cycle is bank profits. Bank profits along the way. Because the bear cycle will come. You'll see 70% retracements in a fortnight, in the space of a fortnight from the top of the market. Um, and then stay in the market. You know, bank all your profits, try and cash out pretty much all your positions. But then the bear cycle's in. Dude, everything is on sale. You know, you think how mad everyone goes on Black Fridays, right? You know, trying to get a nice PlayStation or an Xbox or any or TV at super discounts. That's what a bear cycle is. Find the gems, steady investment for a couple of years, retire. All I do during a bear cycle is find the gems and I will share them with everyone on Copy My Crypto. Case in point, found Phantom. It's currently up 400 times in value. Literally only about three weeks ago, it was up like 600, 700 times in value. You know, there's so many opportunities and I will be finding all of them and sharing them with the members. So if you want to be a part of it, you can check it out. Take care. Bye-bye.